So in five minutes what I want to do is show you how to turn Bryce into an inkblot generator. To do that I'm going to set the document setup here at 1 to 1 aspect ratio. So I've got a square aspect for my images. This infinite plane I'm going to modify from the default material to being a perfectly reflecting mirror. I don't need to worry about the fact that it casts shadows because I'm going to turn that off globally in the Skylab. In fact we'll do that right now. In the Skylab turn off the shadows, that'll turn off all direct shadow casting so there will only be the incidence that arrives on the uh, geometry that we're going to use. Increase the diffuse value to 500 and set the specular output to 50 and then this mirror using the edit control and rotating the z-axis while holding the shift key down so it does it in discrete steps so that it's vertical. Then I'm going to position the camera, press 3 to get the side view and I'm going to modify the camera position by altering the attributes. I'm going to place it at the origin and then rotate it in the x-axis while holding the shift key down so that it's pointing downwards and then lift the camera up and here on the ground I'm going to create a terrain. I'll create it in default grey by holding the control key down so that's created a terrain and then use this control here to narrow the field of view because the position of the mirror although it's underneath the camera is offset slightly we're getting a reflection of what is appearing on the right hand side and all we need to do now is modify the material of the terrain appropriately so on 100% specular and set the specular halo up hold the alt key down and click on the color swatch so you can set it at exactly full value white and that will create a harsh transition zone and that will help add the character to the ink blot and the diffuse is giving the sort of slightly faded effect and then we can edit the terrain set the terrain to solid and then choose a fractal so we'll just pick something out here so we'll try chaotic and then just uh, regenerate the surface a few times and then we'll see what we've got so that's our first attempt I'll have a look here look maybe like a, f a face and also bear in mind that moving the light source will change the character of the um, the ink blots as well so just even slight adjustments of the light source now and you can change the character so we'll do that and then I'm going to just pick the train up and slide it up here so and then I'll look in the so there appears to be uh, like like a face so I'll focus on that for this so I'll just move that up there and then I'll narrow the field of view so we're getting closer to this now obviously as it gets narrower you're starting to approach the resolution of the triangles within the within the terrain so if you want to you can edit the terrain and without regenerating the pattern just increase it to say massive resolution and that will add a few more triangles and also smooth the effect slightly so I've done that and then if you wanted to get it a bit darker lower the camera to the horizon carefully so that uh, less is getting lit that gives it a more ex exaggerated effect there and, and also another thing you can do is increase and decrease the thickness of the terrain will also have an exaggerating effect so that's, that's all fairly straightforward but refinements that you can make uh, sh should you so desire uh, you could modify the material to add colour to it I suppose we could have a quick look at that since uh, there's a minute left if you want to add some colour uh, perhaps the most obvious way would be to modify the materials and uh, pop something in these three channels here and select something like this red fractal but uh, another way of doing that if you uh, if you don't want to go down that route uh, perhaps a little bit more imaginative because it allows you to change your overall rather than relying on a pattern that's been generated within the material is to add another light source edit that light source so it's a saturated color so we'll go for saturated red because that will work well with the specularity effect and then you can position that around your terrain and that will add some color in appropriately not forgetting that not only have you then got the option to move this light source around and create uh, different effects but the moving the sun for example will will create radically different effects depending on its position and uh, and how it interacts with that other light source so as you can see the effect of moving the sun is very dramatic when you uh, you do these things and likewise for the other light source so that's that's one way of adding colour and like I say otherwise try modifying the material properties to uh, to add more colour 
the lower the to the horizon the sun is, the, the higher the contrast the image you get. So there you go, a quick and easy way to turn Bryce into an ink blot generator.